Today, we're going to discuss an exciting new drug called Daxify that's going to be a major player in the cosmetic space. It's going to go head to head with Botox and maybe outcompete Botox in its, its popularity. Before I talk about why I'm excited about Doxify, I just want to introduce myself. I'm Dr. Joel Kopelman. I'm a facial plastic surgeon. I've been injecting uh, Botox for the past three decades, and I was a co-author on some of the original papers on Botox. As you know, Botox has been a very effective treatment for lines and wrinkles around the eyes and reducing muscle mass and for facial spasms. Uh, however, there is a limitation that Botox has, and that is it only lasts three or four months, which means that most patients have to return to the office three to four times a year to maintain the positive effects of, of Botox. So Doxify has been shown to be a very effective drug compared to other botulinum toxins, and that's the uh, medical term we use for Botox or other Botox-like injectables. Why it's a significant change is that it appears, based upon a multi-centered study, which was authored, the lead author is uh, Dr. Vince Bertucci, who is a colleague of mine, who is a dermatologist in Canada. Uh, they showed and demonstrated that this Doxify can last up to two times as long as Botox on average. And that's a significant improvement uh, compared to Botox which or Botox-like drugs, which have been around for approximately 30 years and only last three to four months. Doxify has been FDA approved only for the area of the glabella where we get the 11 lines here. It's only been approved for that uh, treatment, but it will probably be approved for other areas of the face and other medical conditions, which again is a very big improvement of what is currently available. And so that there are people who have, for instance, facial spasms that uh, is a medical problem, either on one side of the face or both sides of their face, it's called blepharospasm. And if they can be injected twice a year, that's a great improvement for those patients as well. So let's briefly talk about how Botox-like drugs work and how Doxify also works. It works at the neuromuscular junction, and that's the junction between where the nerve stimulates the muscle. And remember, this, these drugs are inhibiting muscle contraction. That's what it, the effect of these drugs are. And what we're doing is blocking that transmission of the neuromuscular, at the neuromuscular junction of neurotransmitters, which is called acetylcholine. And there's a blockage right there, and the Botox-like drugs, or Doxify, block that transmission to stimulate the muscle. It does that by binding to certain proteins at the end of the synapse, which is that connection, and it freezes the muscle and inhibits the muscle. So it causes a little bit of uh, a paralysis, if you will, of the muscle so that you don't get this contraction and these lines that form as a result of the contraction of the muscle. So Doxify and Botox both have the potential to have some mild side effects in most cases. Usually you get uh, either a, a little discomfort at the site of injection, or you can get a little bit of a headache. Some people get flu-like symptoms, and uh, there's also the potential in rare cases of being injected right here and having the Botox drift down and cause a drooped upper lid, which can last up to three months in some people. And of course, uh, there are drugs to counteract that, but that's not the issue right here. The issue really is if Doxify precipitates that drooped eyelid, it can last up to six months. So that is a downside of Doxify, but that occasionally uh, will only occur rarely and usually in, in if it's injected in, in, in an improper place, not in the glabellar area particularly. So at this moment, we don't know the pricing of Doxify. It may be that it's going to be more expensive than uh, the price of Botox because it's given only obviously twice a year. As soon as it comes out in the market, I will, I will demonstrate it in my practice on a patient and uh, I'll share that uh, experience with you on, on a future video. If you have any further questions regarding uh, botulinum toxins or Doxify, 
Uh, please leave them below. I'm happy to answer your questions. And please subscribe to my channel because I want to keep you up to date with any of the new cosmetic trends that are occurring. And I look forward to seeing you again in my future videos.